In some ways, um, Mike Alfred's kind of, I guess, um, experiences reminds me a little bit of Mark Rylance. And they've both had an American experience and they've both had an English experience. Yeah. And they've brought this really interesting perspective to um, the acting profession. And I th I, I'm pretty sure that they worked together on a production of Cymbeline at the, um, at the Globe in yes. 2001. Yeah. But, so I think that, because Mike's now, I think, in his early 80s. Yeah. And I think this opportunity of him bringing, I mean, all the stuff he did in America, shared experience, the Globe stuff that he's done, all the touring, the, produ the Chekhov productions he's directed, that massive experience and just... Um, I guess genius in the sense of the word of someone who's inspired in their passion yeah. that he could bring out here and the opportunity that creates is is pretty amazing. Uh, it, I don't, I'm not overstating this, but it is truly a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like it, what he has to has to offer and what the insights and um, he's a master really, mm. and and he's wanting to impart. All of that, all of that acquired wisdom that he has that he has learned, mm. and the the ethics and the humility to to make his life. He's a purist, um, in the same way that Mark Rylance is a purist, mm. um, to make his life about the craft mm. and the process mm. and the art form um, and the work. Um, it it I would just urge anyone and everyone to run and jump at this <laughs> opportunity. Seriously, it is like, it is, uh, yeah, amazing work. It's, it's the next, for me, the potential of it. It, it feels like what Greek theatre was, you know, in that, like, like the moments that I saw of just these actors coming alive that nobody knew what was happening. It felt like channeling. It felt like, it felt like working with the gods, mm. you know. Mm. Um, and it requires tremendous discipline, no ego, um, bravery, courage, vulnerability. But the implications are, are epic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow.